This beautiful M1 Pro has been my creative partner for years. Edited countless videos, smashed through projects, and never let me down once. But now I'm doing more client work, bigger videos, different workflow, and let's just say it's time to level up. Ciao guys, today I'm unboxing the new Mac Studio M4 Max. So let's dive in. Right, so every unboxing experience I've got with Apple devices just sounds quality and design. First impression, it's sturdy, compact and slick. Here's it in comparison next to my M1. You can immediately spot the size difference, almost three times the size, but with the same footprint, with different heights, however. So I'm currently on the Apple website now, and then if I was to go to the Mac Studio, so this is where we've got the new uh, uh, versions that came out. So I like it because at this point, this is where people, they tend to get confused. M4 Max and M3 Ultra. Now the Ultra version is obviously the more powerful one, but obviously this number three and number four in front of that kind of like confuse you. But just remember, M4 Max, then you've got the M3 Ultra. Now, when it comes down to choosing your, your superpower in this case, I think the, the thought process that I had is um, whatever I'm going to pick, this version, it's more than enough compared to what I've got now. One of the things I used to recommend is, you know, do your compare first. There's a comparison option that you've got within the Apple website. So all I tend to do normally is um, if I can, I'll get a refurbished version, but in this case, this just came out, so that wasn't available. But what I will eventually do is I'll pick my Mac Studio, that's my two options, and then I'll compare it to what I've currently got. So I will go down and I'm looking for the uh, Mac Mini, the M1 series, which is that one. And then eventually I will place in the equation also the laptop. So I've got the MacBook Pro. So this is the version that I've got, a 2021, and it's a M1 Pro. So straight away, you know, this is where I'll just go through the comparison. So what you said, if you narrow it down with the AI tools, with the prompt that I've got in the description below, then you can actually have it a proper side by side. The memory, again, I'm, I'm making, making a massive jump, which is this from this or from this. I would normally recommend um, getting, again, straight out of the box version. And then, you know, if you're using a good SSD card, that's how I normally work. So I would get my basic model, which is the 512 gigs. And then I will link to that my uh, three SSD cards. I've got a four terabyte and a two terabyte banks of two, if it makes sense. And I'll be working off of that. And I've never had an issue so far. I've been doing this for almost eight, 10 years, and it's been working fine, rather than me buying, uh, paying the extra for the storage option. So if I was to just summarize this one in one line, why did I pick this machine? I simply picked it for the power and the longevity that I'll get out of it. Again, in my case, if I was to say that I was using the M2 Max, I don't think I'd have made, I would have made the jump. But in my case, I went from an M1 Pro to an M4 Max, so that's a quite a big jump. And I went from 16 gigs RAM to a 36 gig RAM. So it's, it's just completely a different world for me. So if you've got this machine or you're planning to get it or you're simply in doubt, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to reply and give you some feedback based on the experience that I've been having so far. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you the next time.